Hello you all, welcome to the channel. Um, for some of you, this is going to be very strange. Sorry guys, I can't show my face because I'm already prepped for bed. But um, I just wanted to come on here quickly to give a word of encouragement for those that are waiting on God for um, for the blessing of uh, supernatural marriage, okay, for a divine spouse. Um, as you can see already, the name of this channel has changed. I already addressed that during the live stream. Um, but yeah, this is no longer Gadge Ministries International. It's now Newman Gothelwood International Ministries. So welcome to Newman Gothelwood International Ministries. Um, this was a clear instruction that I received from God to change the name of the channel from having my name on it um, to what God really wanted, right? So yeah, so just to get that out of the way, okay, so this is going to be a very quick, encouraging um, video. Um, for those of you that are, you know, waiting on God for a divine spouse. Sorry about the blank wall in my flower. Um, so, yeah, I just want to say to you all, to anyone that is that has been waiting on, on God for a divine spouse, the most important thing that you need to bear in mind is, um, the most important thing that you need to do really is, um, while you're waiting on God to build a love relationship with him and I talked about this in my live stream last night so if you didn't see that and you were not there I would advise you to go and watch the live stream okay it was engaging it, 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 it was really really um it was it was interesting for me to um you know encourage um you all on building a relationship you know with god right a love relationship essentially because god is calling us to um you know have this um communion this fellowship with him many of us are desiring marriage um you know with with a, you, you, um, with a man sorry about sorry about my i'm stuttering guys so um, many of us are um desiring a man or a woman you know um to be to be to be married to and to be settled with but there are many of us at the same time like we don't have a relationship with god right a lot of you still see god as just god like do you call him father do you call him your your love your everything right because god is supposed to be our first true love okay so this is just to encourage you to to you know um position yourself rightly you know and um you know, build a relationship with God, a love relationship with God, right? He's waiting on you because m m m most times, the reason why many of us are still, you know, in this place of, you know, like waiting for so long is because we haven't really done what God is desiring of us to do. And then we start complaining and start moaning about, oh, you know, I've been waiting for 20 years. I've been waiting for five years. I've been waiting for 15 years, but I haven't, you know, seen, you know, who God has for me. And, you say you're waiting on God, but then God is really waiting on you to connect with him, engage with him and commit to him and love on him. Right. Because this is your training ground for when he actually brings the right person your way. That's something you need to know. Right. So God wants to prune you. He wants to he wants to wash you. He wants to cover you. He wants to train you. Right. He wants to build you up. Right. OK. So that when he finally sends the one that he wants you to you know to be with and to go into doing ministry work with into into going into doing um kingdom work with when that person comes along because you've you know walked with god and you and now you know what love true love is when that person comes along you can recognize them you and uh, you'll be able to love them the way god has you know loved you and the way that he has shown you how to love right the way that he has trained you you'll be able to go into that marriage right with a with um with um, with a disciplined mind, with a committed attitude, right? You know, and you and your spouse becoming one, um, the two of you becoming one. And and I have a different um, uh, prophetic word on that as well. I have a prophetic word on that word actually. So I'm going to release that maybe tomorrow. So you know, two of you becoming one and being able to work together for the kingdom of God for the family of God. So please be encouraged and do not give up and really just, you know, um, put in more effort into your 
um, relationship with God. Work with him, right? Work with God. Spend time with God. Continue to pray. If God has revealed who he wants you to be with, your spouse, and, and that person is still in the world, continue to pray. I tell you, God is doing miracles. God is doing miracles. He's going to change that person. He's going to transform that person if you partner with him, if you continue to pray, right? So be encouraged, you all. Work with God. Commit to him. And definitely check out the live stream from last night. That that live stream blessed many people. And if you haven't seen it, it's definitely going to touch your heart. And it's going to um, awaken you as well. So um, be encouraged, you all. And I'll see you all in my next video. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe before you go. And to all, and to all of my returning subscribers, thank you so much for being here and thank you for being a part of the transition from what it was to what it is now we are going places you all and um, i'm hoping to one day actually um have a conference okay where i can have a lot of you or you know all of you if possible be a part of this conference this this life-changing confident i'm sorry conference um yeah so that's about it really anyone that is interested in counseling um services or you want to read our devotional it's on gadgeguide.com and i'll put the link in the bar below definitely check that out as well and um yeah if you want counseling services it's it's right there if you want help you know with um finding you know um your divine spouse that is right there as well if you need help with your prayer life that is right there all in the same place as well gadgeguide.com forward slash counseling um so that's about it really if you're if you haven't given your life to jesus christ or maybe at some point you did and you want to um rededicate your life to jesus christ that is the best thing for you to do is the best 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 thing for you to do in your life okay so give your life to jesus or rededicate your life to christ and i'm going to help you right now to lead you to jesus okay because that's the most important thing that you can ever do for yourself on this earth right to be renewed in your soul and that can only happen by jesus christ by the holy spirit okay so say this prayer after me lord jesus i come to you today lord I thank you that you died on the cross for me and I thank you that you rose on the third day to give me your life by your blood. Thank you for thank you for the works of the cross. Thank you for all that you have done, O oh Lord. I receive you and I receive forgiveness of my sins, Lord, and I receive grace to begin to live for you, a life that will be pleasing and that will bring you glory, honor, and praise. Right now, Lord, I receive your Holy Spirit into my spirit, and I, and I thank you in Jesus' name. I pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Congratulations on saying that prayer and welcome to the family of Christ. And um, I want you to try to get yourself a Bible and just continue to study to um, study the word of God. The word of God is going to build you up and make your faith stronger in, in the promises that God has for you. So without saying too much, you all, God bless you. I pray that God will continue to keep you all, guide you all, prosper you in your soul and all that you do for anyone that is in um. Um, a desire i i'm receiving right now in my spirit that somebody somebody is um in need of uh it's like it's like you're going through something and and you need some sort of a financial relief or a financial blessing i prophesy over you right now in the name of jesus christ that god is going to fill your storehouse he's going to fill your bank he's going to fill your bands he, he is going to supply all your needs according to his riches in glory in christ jesus because you've been giving you've been sowing you've been doing everything for the kingdom it is your time the heavens are open over you right now god is pouring down a blessing over you in your finance in the name of jesus christ of nazareth divine sponsors for that business that ministry they are coming in the name of jesus christ of nazareth so that's all you all um thank you so much once again if you're new subscribe and to all of my subscribers that have been um supporting and sowing seeds you all thank you for the seeds you sow thank you so much all um for for um everything i am i'm i'm so grateful okay um uh, sorry about my stuttering as well you guys just be patient with me. <laughs> I'll be stuttering left, right, and center. Okay, I'll see you all in my next one. God bless you, and I pray that God continue to keep you and guide you all. I love you all. Take care.